Hello, good morning to all of you. By five minutes to time this morning, our lead producer Derek Akosam issued bench warrants for the two of us. <laughs> but fortunately, we were able to make it. We were able to, to uh, what's it called? When you uh, give yourself up to the police. <laughs> Uh, yes. we, <laughs> we voluntarily surrounded. Uh, surrendered. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And uh, we turned ourselves in. We turned uh, ourselves in. This morning, the bravo is not coming home. No, it's because, you know, when a bench warrant is issu issued uh -huh. for you, psychologically, you're not in the right frame of mind. <laughs> Even if you have money in your bank account. You forget. You forget that, Charlie. You don't forget your you pin number. Indeed. Or your serious matter. Indeed. Indeed. So... We had absconded mm. police bill earlier. Yes, we are. We are in the, the night. AM shows most wanted. I'm telling you, fugitives. Yes. So we took the new train services that were available by the Ghana Rail <laughs> Company Limited. Yes. And we, we decided to buy a few encroachers to get here. Yeah. Apparently, Charlie, our lead producer's bench warrants was uh, very oh, potent. Okay. So we were fished <laughs> out. So we had. We decided to surrender or turn ourselves in. But talking about bench warrants and all the things we have to talk about, Kwejo, mm. uh, mm. yesterday it, was quite a day. Yeah, it's been interesting. And yes. uh, if you look at social media, mainstream media, well, it is we'll the talk of the nation. Everybody is talking about yeah. the, yeah. the warrant that was um, issued for the arrest of the embattled businessman, Nana Piamensa. Now, it was issued in Accra, and uh, this is basically after his investment company, Men's Gold, has failed. To refund clients monies but you see the warrant was issued because according to um, the in investigative bodies he has skipped bail uh, he was on bail which comes with certain conditions and uh, due to the fact that he has breached those conditions uh, by leaving the country he is now wanted mm. Mm. and i'm told that um, this has been issued through interpol yes so 194 countries around the world wow. are now hunting for number one. And, um, yeah, so the expectation from uh, the sources we spoke to yesterday was that he will either be in South Africa or Nigeria uh, as a, you know, his last uh, location. But um, this affects 194 countries and so wherever he is, the belief is that uh, they will be able to locate him sooner rather than later. But what Nigeria. a feeling it must be to be wanted, uh, not in a positive way, you know. Not, not, I'm to, not, not talking about being desired, just wanted, a fugitive. It must be a, a worrying feeling, uh, one that I hope none of you ever get to experience. But um, this matter has just, it's taken a long journey to get where we are. So we're going to put it all in perspective for you today. We've got a financial risk expert, Idrisu Mahama, who will be on the show. We'll also hear from the CID boss, Mami Atiwa Ajudankwa. Uh, we'll play back a bit of uh, Amanda Clinton from um, uh, last night, PM Express, in case you missed it. Amanda Clinton represents uh, some of the customers of Men's Gold. Martin Pebu will speak to us as well. Uh, well, we'll hear from Martin Pebu, who was on Top uh, Story. And then MFA Jiradosi will be uh, live from some place in Accra where she'll be speaking to some customers of Men's Gold. Now, you know something happened in Kumasi as well, uh, a demonstration. Prince Apia will bring us the latest on that as Men's Gold customers in Kumasi took their frustrations to the streets. Uh, we'll see how they feel about the latest development uh, and whether or not it is even of value. You know, the freezing of his accounts. Is it too little, too late? We'll talk about it all. Well, all these are the issues of law. And talking about law, mm. we know that one of the main um, organs of government that um, churns out laws regularly is the legislature. Mm -hmm. And um, on Constitution Day, we had the rector of Gimpa, but also uh, a very famous or renowned law professor has written some notable books um, addressing the inaugural lecture. And Professor Philip uh, a book on the Simpson, among others, proposed that members of parliament should at least attain a certain academic qualification before gaining some entry into the house as legislators. And yesterday, we decided also to have some chit chat about it. Yeah, we heard from ordinary Ghanaians, but today we decided to put together some great experts who do parliamentary work, who do research, and um, they are going to talk to us on the subject. 
and uh, Dr. Ali Joseidu is a senior political science lecturer uh, to the University of Ghana. Enes Ama is also a director of research and content development to DICRO. And Dr. Rashid Droman is with the Africa Center for Parliamentary Affairs. And uh, we'll have some great conversations in studio, streaming into the studio, all that. So it promises to be a great delight. It's all part of the great conversations around our constitution and our democratic dispensation. That's right. And then we'll wrap up the show with some showbiz news brought mm -hmm. to you mm -hmm. by Awake Purified Water. Bex will be here with that. Yeah. And that is your show. Yeah, definitely. And so please, as you get interactive, please know that you can give us more of your messages on Facebook, Join News on TV. We have a Twitter handle at like Join News on TV. We also have a channel on YouTube. You can watch us live there. That is my online TV and myjohnline.com has uh, the stream uh, regularly on the home page. Mm. But uh, we have to start with um, a, a warrant message from <laughs> the most wanted man on the show this morning, Kujo Yangson. <laughs>